This relatively popular Scream theory suggests that there was a secret ghost face in Scream 6. This suggests that not only is it someone we know, but would also be repeating the biggest horror cliche of like all time. I'm Scream Geek, and today we are going to be discussing this insane ghost face theory. So this theory suggests that Danny, Sam's new boyfriend, is ghost face. And first of all, Sam, if that is the case, then just stop dating at this point. But let's see if this actually makes sense. So I spent some time researching Scream 6, watching some scenes with him, and I realized that there's actually a lot of evidence that points to the fact that he might be Ghostface. Let's look at the apartment scene. Do got consider that Ghostface did not kill Quinn. Quinn is Ghostface with him. So Danny took a picture and sent it to the core four, but you would easily be able to tell that Ghostface isn't killing Quinn. I mean, he might be a little far away, he might be a little hard to see, but I can imagine he would be able to tell that Quinn wasn't actually dead and could probably have seen like Ethan throwing like fake blood on her. And then by doing that, he comes up with the ladder plan, which leads to Annika's demise. Another instance when he's pretty suspicious is when he shows up after the third act is done. I mean, Ethan and Wayne Bailey explained that the whole plan that they have is to frame Sam and Tara. So wouldn't Danny coming in with the police be sort of suspicious? If he is working with the Bailey or Kirsch family, whatever you want to call them, then they probably told him to do that so that if they won, the police would find Tara's dead body along with Sam posed with the ghost face mask. That makes a lot of sense, but not only is there this evidence in the Scream movies, but there's also evidence from the directors. There was an interview in a Scream 6 behind the scenes documentary. Where directors explained that in order to get cast in a Scream movie, you read out some dialogue that they gave you for the character you're playing, and then you read out a killer reveal and act like a killer. And they said that they were absolutely blown away by his killer performance, and they wished that he had been one of the ghost faces in Scream 6. So the question is, will he be ghost face in Scream 7? I think there's a chance. So do you think Danny will turn out to be ghost face in Scream 7? Let me know in the comments down below, and until next time, Scream Geeks, toodles!